Hello. Today we will discuss the pre-malignant and malignant conditions for the cervix. So if you want to learn the staging only, then you can skip to the last part of video. So we start here by the anatomy of the cervix. The anatomy of the cervix consists of two important parts, the endocervix and the ectocervix. The endocervix is consisted of columnar epithelium whereas ectocervix is consisted of squamous epithelium this is ectocervix which is near the vaginal wall between endocervix and ectocervix we have transformational zone which is called squamocolumnar junction and this is where most of the cancers develop so the main reason for the development of cancer is hpv virus human papilloma virus and the high risk stains are 18 and 16. So the HPV virus leads to cervical intraepithelial neoplasia which is CIN. It can be low grade which can be mild dyscariosis or high grade which is moderate to severe dyscariosis. So dyscariosis is basically change in the maturity of the epithelium. So the low grade or high grade epithelium is basically detected by or diagnosed by pap smear cancer is only diagnosed when there is break in the basement membrane so pap smear we perform the pap smear by coscos speculum which is self-retaining speculum which is fixed and a wooden spatula and then we take the sample by wooden spatula and place it on the glass slide and microscopy is done Pap smear is for the reproductive aged women which uh, are 25 to 64 years and the, uh, we take the sample every 3 to 5 years. Next we can do the process of colposcopy which is diagnostic as well as therapeutic. So the therapeutic uh, way of performing the colposcopy is either we choose see and treat right where we see the condition or select and treat we perform the biopsy and then treat the condition so colposcopy we take a light source a microscope and then a speculum and similarly like self-retaining speculum we took in the pap smear and then we place the woman in semi lithotomy position and then application of acetic acid and iodine which highlight the abnormal areas and it is performed for every six months we uh, we also take the biopsy as i discussed earlier so the treatment of pre-malignant conditions which is cin if there is low grade cin we follow colposcopy and cytology every six months and mostly these regress spontaneously whereas high grade cin which is uh, moderate to severe dyscariosis we perform procedure lets which is large loop excision of transformational zone or this is also called loop diathermy where wire loop in local anesthesia seven millimeter deep excision we take in this the mnemonic for the high grade cin treatment is as basically we perform it in, in local anesthesia and the procedure is called LETS or loop diathermy and this procedure LETS or loop diathermy can lead to loss of baby which is mid trimester losses and preterm delivery the next procedure we can perform is cone biopsy which is greatly replaced by the procedure LETS and cone biopsy is performed under general anesthesia when the treatment of the CIN cervical intra epithelial neoplasia is done then we go for the test of cure which consists of two tests hpv and cytological assessment which is done six months later and we see whether the test is positive or negative if the test is positive then we go for the colposcopy and then treat remaining lesion cin if the test is negative then we perform three yearly cervical screening the prevention of uh, hpv cin is basically hpv vaccine which can be bivalent for only 16 and 18 which i told you earlier was high risk chain or quadrivalent which is 6 11 16 and 18 and this is mainly given to the girls aged 
between the 20, uh, 12 and 13 years. Next is cervical cancer. So cervical cancer basically presents as postcoital bleed. The complaints are mainly postcoital bleed, intramenstrual bleed, and on examination we find hard mass which bleeds on touching. So basically, when we touch it, uh, it bleeds through the uh, speculum. So next is uh, the type of the carcinoma is squamous cell carcinoma, most common in cervical cancer. It can spread either locally lymphatics or hematogenous. Biopsy is performed for the confirmation and MRI is for to check the spread in the pelvic. Figo staging is used for the cervical cancers and it contains intravenous urogram as well as we will discuss it later that the ure ureters are also involved in this cancer so first we go for the cervical cancer staging we have four two 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 so four is for stage one so stage one is divided into one a one one a two one b one and one b two so 1A1 is basically the depth less than 3 millimeter and 1A2 is depth 3 to 5 millimeter. And both of 1A1 and 1A2 have dimensions of 7 millimeter in, in the greatest dimension it is 7 millimeter. And the treatment for this is 1A1 is excision. So we remember it the A, A is for excision x it sounds like x so x again loop biopsy or cone biopsy can be performed to differentiate it from the 1b1 we see that the measurements given in 1a1 are always in the millimeters so you see 7 millimeter here 3 millimeter so we can or uh, check the measurements in millimeters so it is probably 1a1 so next we have 1b1 and 1b2 we can see the 1v1 is less than 4 centimeter size in cervix and 1b2 is greater than 4 centimeter size so we can see 1b if we write 1b so we write b small b like this and then we put one like this so it is less than 4 1b is less than 4 and we write 1b2 so it is we write 2 like this so it is greater than 4 so this is always taken in centimeter the treatment for 1b1 is either if the woman has completed her family or is in old age we can perform radical hysterectomy and bilateral pelvic node dissection which is called Wertham's hysterectomy or in young women we can perform radical tra trachelectomy and bilateral pelvic node dissection it is to remove the cervix and upper part of vagina so the mnemonic for the treatment here is b is for bilateral lymph node dissection it involves bilateral lymph node dissection and then at the age of women we can either choose radical hysterectomy or radical trachelectomy so next is cervical cancer all the next stages two three both of them involve the same mnemonic as vp so we see here that cervical cancers the first three initials of cervical cancer sounds like sir so sir is vice principal so vice principal has initials v and p so for the second stage and third stage we will consider vp mnemonic for cervical cancer so in 2a we have v vagina upper portion and 2b we have p parametrium so alphabetical order parametrium has a, a the first alphabet so we go with parametrium in 3a you can see there is v vagina but here there is door part and 3b we have vp and uh, h p is for the pelvic wall the, in the second stage we have p for the parametrium a was the alphabetical order we came with the alphabetical order so parametrium had a and now in third stage 3b we have pelvic wall in alphabetical order e is behind the a so a is uh, after a so we go with the alphabetical order it is vp and h is for hydronephrosis this is the reason why we use intravenous urogram in figo staging because we have to detect the hydronephrosis so the mnemonic for the second stage was vp 
and the third stage was VPH. So VP is vagina upper portion, parametrium, VPH is vagina lower portion, pelvic wall, and hydronephrosis due to obstructive symptoms. Next for the four A is four words brat. So four A includes bladder, bladder, rectal, mucosa, or extend beyond true pelvis. And for 4B is distant organs like liver and lungs. The treatment for the stage 2 to 4 is uh, old wise principle. Stage 2, 3, 4 listens to radio. So it can be the treatment radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy. Next we have OSCE stuff. So you can see here that uh, how we can uh, how they can present the scenario or the pictures here this is an important picture so you see 1a1 is just here mild lesions less than three millimeters then three to five millimeters is 1a2 1b1 is now in centimeters so we can see the size it's big size so it is in centimeter 1b1 so this is less than four centimeter and this is greater than four centimeter now next is 2a and then 2b 2a is basically we have vp mnemonic so v vagina upper part and p is parametrium so 3a we have again v vagina lower part and then p in third stage was for uh, pelvic for pelvic wall so it can present with hydronephrosis symptoms so if you have any problem in this you can write in comments thank you